that I have now decided that I need after visiting the Parade of Homes in Brentwood, Tennessee, part two. First up, a hallway ceiling more interesting and unique than my personality. Next up, a door that looks like it's going to be a fridge, but turns out it's actually not a fridge. It's a room that contains a fridge. I just wanna keep my guests on their toes, make them question their instincts. Side note, imagine how much produce you could let die in this jumbo fridge. Also, genius, a pot filler to fill up the dog bowls. Next up, a closet with a safe for a door. I want people to think that there are things of value in this room just to be sorely disappointed by my collection of t-shirts and clothes that I grew out of after high school. Also, loving this little kid's nook under the stairs. It's giving Harry Potter meets Pottery Barn. A balcony is also a must from which I may address the peasants of the household. The peasants, if you're wondering. We cannot forget to add a place to hide the husband. You gotta make sure there's adequate mental stimulation and hydration. I'm sold on the idea of having an espresso machine in between my bedroom and my bathroom. I just want something irreplaceable. Literally, I don't know how I would replace this if it ever broke. I wanna have some fun. When you're out house hunting, does it matter what you wear? Absolutely. Trust me on this one. If you're seeing a lot of properties, definitely wear comfortable shoes and make sure that they're slip-on. You'll thank me. If there's ever anything you need, we're always here and happy to help.